guys and welcome to AfroFest where we will be talking today to Pascal Ugu. He's an, uh, an artist. Hello Pascal, how are you? I'm fine, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining us today on AfroFest to discuss um, your art because I saw it yeah. on, uh, on Instagram the other day and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. Let's talk about this. Uh, so, thank you very much. So first of all, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Like, tell us about, tell us who you are and what you do. Okay. Uh, my name is Pascal Ugu. I'm a contemporary Nigerian artist. So I specialize mainly on mixed media, mixed media painting. Mixed media so painting. I work, yeah, that is a combination of uh, acrylic and mixed paint on a textured canvas. Can you come closer to your mic? Okay. Please. I said, yeah, I can hear you very well now. Uh, I said uh, I specialize mainly on mixed media. That is making use of uh, acrylic and uh, newspaper, um, newsprint and mm -hmm. a textured canvas. Yes. That's lovely. So, so how long have you been painting? Uh, uh, should I say professionally? That is after school because all my life has been art, 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 like yeah. right from tidy. I've been drawing right from tidy then. Um, then when I I got I studied it in the university also. Ah, so, good. So you studied it. Did you major on painting or which which was yes, your? I majored, I majored in painting. I majored in painting. All right. So you've been painting for how many years after uni now? You said. After you mean that is 2018. Mm, good, 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 good. And after that 2018, I've been painting right from the up up to now. Okay. Oh, that's that's really so I'll i um I would say my first question for you would be uh what are your biggest influences in what are your biggest influences while painting? Okay. Okay. Um Mainly, I've been inspired by my environment, people around me. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you watch most of my paintings, they have uh, this kind of, uh, 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 I don't know how to classify, but it captures the people surrounding me at this particular point in time. So, uh, and I tend to, record their lives and also my thoughts is also my inspiration and uh, likewise my experiences with them and how they affect me and the society I like. So what would you say the goal of your art is? What is the goal of your painting for you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The goal of my painting is to inspire the world to change towards change. To make a change. To make yeah. a change. Yes, and also, sorry, and also it, uh, and also it preaches uh, love mm. and peace in the society. So, what kind of change do you want to see? What kind of change you are you are talking about when you say you want to see a change? Is there something specific you're talking about? Yeah, there are so many things, but in terms of uh, because. Some of my work captures the injustice. Injustice. Yes. Yeah, most especially this uh, in my country, mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There are so much of the uh, injustice. Injustice. Coming from uh, the political system and the uh, social system. So if uh, the the system is to be changed for good, I think it will benefit everybody. So my change is moving towards the path. And if this change is achieved, it will also make the world a better place. Okay. Yeah. And how do you reflect this idea, what you just said, through your art? How do you express this? Okay. Uh, in, like my painting. Yes. Like, for instance, you've got one behind you that maybe you can take us through that one. Okay. Uh, this one, this one now. Yes. This one now uh, is uh, Odoziako. That is what I titled it. 
Okay. So this uh, Odoze app now talks about the kind of uh, exalting the women, women that work hard, mm -hmm. not depending on men and other kind of things. So it's like an if, independent woman. Yes, an independent woman. If uh, women are encouraged to work on their own without depending on any different it will I I guess all of us are human beings and mm. we are equal. Mm. So we all have our dream. Yeah. So you mustn't you can't lay your dream on someone's uh, uh, own dream. Yes. So if you achieve yours there will be a kind of uniformity. I don't yeah. know how but yeah, I think I understand what you mean. So yeah, so yeah. it'd be kind of emancipating the women, kind of allowing them to pursue their dreams, telling uh, telling yes, them yes, that they actually yes. can pursue their dreams. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And then does that entail support to 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 pursue their dream, or them going on their own and try it on their own? No, no, no. It, uh, it, uh, it inspires them to pursue their dream. Okay. It, mu it mustn't be on their own, but you know, even if even in this uh, journey, you, you tend to miss some help, other things, but as far as you are on the right path, keeping close, achieving what you then. Okay. That's it. I, like, I really like this painting behind you. I mean, um, I'm just wondering how do you. How do you come up with the concepts? Like basically, you know, before you painted this, you had to okay. think about how you were going to go to express this particular emotion you just explained to us now. How did you, what's your process? How do you come up with the concept like that? If you use this one as an example again. Okay. Uh, first of all, I have to think about it. Uh, although concepts do come uh, from all angles, like I said, Maybe from people I encounter mm. in my immediate environment. I live at Flawan was a was a lady. It was one lady I I encountered uh, when I went to uh, I forgot there's an event I attended to and I met this lady up to then we've been chatting for a while now. Mm. So and from the chat I realized that the lady is just after pushing towards uh, her own goal, not just like some other woman. Like, if you come to the, my area, yes. there are some people that, that get into maybe they try to get a boyfriend, maybe they depend on that boyfriend yeah. uh, for sort of uh, living and all this. And so, this lady's one is a, is a different part, and I like the energy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I decided to use that in my work. If you watch uh, this, my work, it has a, like the way I, I represent my piece. And those uh, representations, they fit, uh, uh, because some of them might look like they are suffering or that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But I'm going to the beauty in them. So it's just like telling us that the struggle is not. Uh, it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy moving towards uh, uh, achieving change or any of those things. Yes. So that's why I tend to represent it that way. It's like wearing your scarf. Mm. Uh, that is that struggle. Accepting the fact that the journey is not easy, but you keep on pushing because there is beauty found within the Mm, that makes sense. That's how, uh -huh. Sometimes I think about what I will paint. Sometimes I just think to see what comes out. And in the process of painting, the concept or the idea just flow in and move right. Ah, okay. That's interesting. And then one thing I've noticed all of your paintings, they have ladies with very long neck. Why do they have long necks? Okay, I tend to trace back uh, in my history. You now, before the coming of the Europeans in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the Africans tend to represent their uh, sculptures 
or yeah. should I say the art is in, in a certain way. So, and part of it is that they exaggerate some part of the body. Mm -hmm. This is, a, this is part of the reason that the, the Europeans really understand quite all right then. They, they have a wealth, Africa has a wealth of exaggeration from parts of the body to uh, maybe show that, to show a particular thing. Like, for example, someone that has big head, might uh, be a representation of uh, wisdom. Ah, okay. Then that of long neck represents beauty. Ah. Then, can, uh, they can exaggerate the hand to represent uh, someone that, that is a careful giver, something mm -hmm. like that. So I tend to stick that long neck to, to represent that beauty. So it's beauty around us, yeah. Ah, that's that's really good. Okay, so so that emphasized the beauty, and then you've got big eyes as well, beautiful eyes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No eyes. I, uh, that big eye, I chose to use big eye because they say, like they say that eyes are mirrors to the sun. Yes. So I want my audience to interact with the eye. Maybe through that eye now they can do, they can interact with the work mm -hmm. and make something up. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. That's really, it gives us a, such a strong in, insight as to how you create and what you actually want the audience to see, to, to know about your art. So this is wonderful. Uh, and then um, uh, you do you have, uh, are you, have you got any exhibitions coming up or anything that you're gonna do like a group exhibition or do you do uh, paintings mostly on, um, on for private uh, collectors? Yeah, I don't have uh, any exhibition at this particular moment. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping for an exhibition in future. Okay, very good. Well, for now, for now, I do for private uh, collectors. Yeah. So, what are the collectors saying? What feedback are they giving you about your work? Do they well, give you they, any feedback? They really enjoy every of uh, my piece. Like they, they like it, oh, and they, nice. they also interact with it as well. Oh, that's really good because I mean, like just now the way you explained it to me, it made me feel like, okay, now I can, I, I can, I'm coming more into your world. I kind of develop an understanding as to how you see things a little bit. Obviously I'm not you, but it gives us an insight. So that's quite nice, you know, to be able to share yeah, that yeah. with you. So thank you for that again. And then um, I'd like to know, okay, that obviously you, everything that is around you, but is there something in particular that motivates you to create when you are like, when you want to feel in a creative mood, there's something that you, you, you need to see in particular that brings motivation. Is there anything like that for you? I don't need to see anything. Some, like, just, just like I said earlier, sometimes I can, I might be walking on the road and get the idea or mm. maybe see some things yeah. in the environment that captures my interest. So I interact with it. I sometimes I write it down and when I come back, I put it down on the canvas. Or uh, sometimes I might I might just be sitting in the studio. Mm. Maybe I can be playing music. The music yeah. can inspire me. Uh, just I can be reading a book and get inspired okay. to do something. So I can get my inspiration from anywhere. So yeah. different things like that gets you inspired. Yeah, okay. Like and uh, mostly, hmm? mostly, mm -hmm. mostly the life, the lifestyle of people around me. Ah. Mostly the lifestyle of people around me. My immediate environment. So people that you, you know deeply into their lifestyle or people that you just perceive the lifestyle? Both. Both, okay. Both. Uh, yeah, both. Because there are sometimes I, I even paint. Some people might come around and say, ah, uh, this particular painting uh, looks like someone I know, uh, looks like this person, or looks like this person. Although I don't do it intentionally, but I just, when I paint, just like 
the brain records uh, some of these uh, pictures. Uh, but once I trace some of those things, uh, tend to show there are some paintings I did. Uh, uh, for example, uh, the unexpected. That is the title of the painting. Mm -hmm. This painting, when I posted it, when I uploaded it uh, on social media, uh, some people are saying, uh, "Is this not me, or did I use my <laughs> as a So that painting. For me, I I couldn't see the resemblance, but people are already interacting with the painting. They saw it and all these things. So just well, that's yeah. nice. So that means your brain captures different things, and you're mixing it up, and then people can actually, you know, connect with it. So that's yes. that's wonderful. That's really mm -hmm. wonderful. And uh, which art trend inspires you? Your current work at the moment. Is there anything? Any trends that is inspiring yeah. you? Yeah, there is. There's a uh, my mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentored me. In, uh, what should I say? He's my mentor. His name is a uh, UK Gerard. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So and his work inspired me a lot. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from him also. I'm not giving that to him. He works of uh, uh, Pablo Picasso. Yes. Pablo yeah, Picasso. I so much like him, and uh, that the way he's represented, he, the way he represents his work and all those things. I think I'm inspired by his, uh, the way he discusses a uh, human figure. Like, mm. I've been working, my, I, I noticed uh, some of my works are, uh, have that kind of uh, discussion. Mm. Yeah, and uh, what I say, I tend to invite some of them in my work because it also match with my, with what I'm putting. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I also really like the works of uh, uh, Bob Nosa. Mm -hmm. You know Bob Nosa? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, his work also is funny. He's, uh, the way he presents the work and uh, the what he preaches and the way he interprets it also captures my. Oh, yeah. This is wonderful. So you, you do have a lot of inspirations to kind of also, you know, flow in your brain. So that's that's really nice. And uh, would you say, I mean, obviously, how has your style changed over time? Because obviously from when you started painting to now, there must be an evolution. So how would you say the evolution went through from where to where, basically, so far? OK. Uh, first of all, I wasn't painting like this before. Mm -hmm. So I had a, a particular style that deals with the flows of lines. Mm -hmm. So that time, although I wasn't, I wasn't a, should I say, I wasn't much of that comfortable to presenting those things. But I know something was, although I'm, I'm evolving, that is how I see them. Yes. So, so with time, it started changing. I had to pass through uh, uh, Ike Gerard. You know, so if, you, if you check his work, he has, that is a kind of, uh, because I captured some things mm. from him. So he, he like put me through on some certain things then. With time, I tend to move like uh, try a new of uh, uh, try to a better way of doing my uh, representing my work mm -hmm. yeah. as time goes on it kept on evolving there there was even a time that the works are uh, try to not much it's more two dimensional than three dimensional mm -hmm. so the distortion we are much so even that time uh, I tend to just scream. But well, people see, it, uh, see some of those paintings I did then as a, they are scary or something like that. But mm. I do, yeah, I don't, I just do it my way. I just do it the way it comes out. I, I don't care about the, 
weather is scary or all these things. But with time, I, my, just, I change as the mind leads. So with time, and I started uh, changing some things. I found, I found that change more interesting. And I'm still learning every day. So mm. that, or should I say that process of learning is still on. And that, that is what brings about this uh, evolution and Mm, that's 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 a really strong uh, like i can see that you've really evolved from first from where you were to what you're doing now and i'm sure you'll keep on evolving i think the evolution is not totally done you're still yeah totally it's not, it's not totally done. yeah there, there is usually work i'm planning on doing that one might portray something although most of my work are similar no matter how the evolution you still see some kind of Similar this thing mm. That's the time. The this particular work I'm planning to do. Uh, it will show some kind of different thing. Although it is not like totally different from what I've mm. been doing. So if you check my page yeah. uh, on Instagram, you see some of these uh, how mm. the difference right from the one I started uh, earlier. This is, um, definitely oh, but well i mean i just i just admire the i wish i could paint but unfortunately i can't so i just admire okay. you know when i see beautiful work and it's like okay. i'm really happy that you shared that with us okay. oh thank you i can see paintings on your wall ah that's not paintings that's, that's printings that's like oh, oh. print. <laughs> I was just printing okay. some images that uh, I liked and I just put it there. But now, well, I, I shall focus to get one of my paintings of yours. I, I'll be looking at the one that I like and I'll okay. come back to you for that one. No problem. No problem. No and problem. then um, I want to ask you because now that you're professionally in the art industry, how do you navigate that industry? How are you finding it? Because I guess it's, yeah. Okay, art, the art industry uh, is not, what should I say, it's not, it's not easy. Mm. Uh, it's not easy uh, being in the art industry because it takes a lot of uh, uh, perseverance mm -hmm. and uh, say, consistency. Mm. So, and as, as that consistency may be, you also need to push yourself forward so that your voice will be heard. If not, you'll just be there being producing on your own without even the audience or the society knowing what to do. Mm. So uh, I'll stay in the process. So are you mostly doing your, your work on your own or do you work with galleries or do you combine or how do you develop your you know your network Although i haven't i'm not i'm not working with gallery at, at this particular moment mm -hmm. so i'm doing it on my own mm. currently so not uh, not yeah, with gallery at the moment but i tend working. to work with gallery mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah but as long as it's working i mean you are getting attention from people and you know yes, collectors yes, 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 yes. and that's the aim yes. I mean, I mean, unless you you have another aim, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's the most important because the the thing, but, yeah, for know. artists, they always say for the living, uh, to be able to live from what you're doing is, is yeah. Amazing. Every every artist wants to live from what uh, they are doing. Yeah. So the major difference is the message. Uh, what you have to offer to the world. Yeah. So you can't just, uh, although for me, you can't just uh, be producing to just uh, uh, sell or all this. Although selling mm -hmm. is also very important. Yes. <laughs> but you must be giving something to the world, something of value to the world. That's true. Then after, you get your own. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, you're right. I mean, it's, it's like a give, you're giving something and you're getting something out of it. Because I know, obviously, um, like 
this the size of this painting to produce something like that you have to get the material and all that and you have yes, to take into yes. consideration all these yes. things so exactly. is it easy for you to to come up with a pricing when you have all this in mind or how do you go about that because a lot of artists sometimes they create pieces and they don't know how to go about maybe pricing it so can you give advice of, to someone that is just like obviously starting at a lower level than you are what how they can okay. go about that uh, okay how i did uh, when i was starting i tend to calculate the price involved in getting my materials mm. then the timing involved in getting the piece that's how after calculating those ones that's how i tend to arrive at my the price i put in my mm. work so i don't just uh, but how do you price, price yourself your price is your your time is like priceless i don't know <laughs> it's hard it must be hard as an artist yeah it's hard. And actually, but starting off, uh, I have to bring it. It should be lower. Yeah. It should be lower. So as far as it covers your your expenses and mm. for in producing the those, uh, that particular artwork. Yeah. After makes... after it calculated the expenses, then of course your time yeah will be there. But you, you don't have to be. I know the time, the time is present, but you don't have to carry the whole yeah. world. Yeah, it makes sense. You just start with the small thing. You know, you, you must gain. You should gain. Mm. Okay. okay. That's how I was pricing when I started. And how is your family um, perceiving your, your art uh, career? Because I know that back in the days, they used to say, uh, or uh, art and the career and things like that. So, like now, how are they seeing your your career, your evolution? Are they supportive? And how is it? Yeah, they are very supportive. But back in the days, I must be sincere. It's hard. Eh? My although they they haven't uh, altered my progress, they are always the 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 one uh, the one they achieve. My dad is someone that wants. Uh, his students to, to do what they want to do. Yeah. As far as uh, it's not illegal, illegal something. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, I can remember in my secondary school, uh, my dad, when I was uh, about to get into the university, my dad was uh, like making option that I should, since I know how to draw, I should go into architecture. Uh, yeah. But on a second thought, my mind kept on telling me, this is not what. Yeah, uh, what I want to do. <laughs> well, I have to tell him that I can see perform well mm. in uh, art. Mm. I, I, just, I just like art, like right from childhood mm. up to that. But well, seeing myself being studying another course was uh, something else. My mind was always always made up that uh, this is what I want to do. Yeah. My art. So I I had to tell him that I can't do for that. Although he did not let me come. That's okay. Don't worry. I can see you still see you very well. <laughs> yeah. Although, although he didn't uh, counter my uh, my suggestion, he didn't counter it. Then he has been supportive. Although he, he kept on asking people, "Are you sure this people make it in art? Are you sure?" Yeah, it's uh, normal, you know. They don't uh, know. Yeah, they don't, he doesn't know. Yeah. So, for me, although I haven't seen the actual. Uh, direction I'm going. But I know there is something greater that I want to achieve, like studying that because uh, I moved on. He was he supported me right through my university when I graduated. Oh that's that's so, wonderful. You know it's very important to have support of your family, I guess, when I you do that, something. That my first uh, fan ah. by my friend. 
Ah. Sometimes, sometimes when I create a game, they, they keep on uh, asking, uh, why is this thing? I thought art is meant to be something that all these flowers, <laughs> I kept on explaining, I said, each piece I create, I create, I keep on explaining. I do. They are not against like any of them. Yeah. Mm. They have, I have their full support. Ah, that's wonderful. Ah, I love that because it's very important. And also, like, like you said, it's very important also to educate our people about arts because the way we yes, perceive yes. it is like, it's like when you explained what you, how you came up about this, this piece, it's very important because then people can start understanding how to read art, which is yes, the whole yes. purpose of this platform because we, I want artists to explain to people so that they can learn and appreciate because if they understand then they'll be able to appreciate your art and buy it yes, yes, that's the yes. idea so i'm really thankful that uh, you, you took the time to answer all my questions pascal and i'm gonna go back on your page and check you out more and uh, share all your your details um I'm, i might ask you to send me a picture of this image you have behind you because since you talked about it i need to put it so that i can know what you were talking about when they're listening to the yeah. podcast. So thank you so much. And, and do you have any questions for me? <laughs> I, don't, I should be the one asking you questions normally, but, <laughs> but <laughs> what do you have any sorry? So there are no questions. No questions. All right then. Thank you so uh, much, Pascal. Uh, and I'm looking forward to speak to you very soon. I'll DM you on a regular basis to check out on you. Okay. Uh, no problem. Bye no bye problem. then. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Bye -bye. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>